Citroen's third generation C3 Super Mini gets a wash and brush up here with a slightly smarter look, comfier seats and extra personalisation options. It is still one of the most comfort orientated small cars you can buy too. Ultimately, there's nothing really revolutionary on offer here, but as a complete and highly personalisable package, it is desirably different. Small French cars used to ride beautifully, grip tenaciously and flow from corner to corner with relaxed, unflustered motion, as by and large this one does. It may come as news to some motoring journalists, but most super mini buyers don't routinely want to throw their cars around as if they were on a stage from the RAC rally. What most of them would prefer is a model that rolls the red carpet over the average appallingly surfaced British road, as to a great extent this one does. Now it's all down to the way that the fairly conventional suspension setup has been tuned, although the downside of that is inevitably extra body roll through the bends. Stay with it though and you'll find that uh, there is actually rather more grip and traction on offer than you might think. Beneath the bonnet, this third generation model continues with the petrol engines that back in 2016 were carried over from final versions of this model's second generation predecessor. Now that means, uh, as ever with a C3, the bulk of the range is built around an efficient PSA group 1.2 litre three cylinder petrol PureTech unit. It develops either 83 HP in normally aspirated form or 110 horsepower if, as here, it's been fitted out with a turbocharger. Uh, this pokiest power plant manages decent WLTP efficiency figures, 50.1 mpg on the combined cycle and 129 grams per kilometre of CO2. It it's is also the only unit in the range that can be offered with an auto gearbox option. If you can justify the premium for diesel power, there is a 1.5 litre Blue HDI 100 unit on offer, but few will want it. At last, Citroen models are starting to look unique and different once more, which is just as well here because stylistic design is now the number one reason for purchasing in the Super Mini segment. Differences with this updated car lie in the adoption across the range of full LED headlights into which the lower chrome bar extends to give the front end something of the style of the brand's latest C4 hatch. Apparently, there are now no fewer than 97 exterior paint and styling combinations, four color packs and four roof colors. Uh, we've got the top in emerald here, but you can also have it in red, white, or onyx black. With the original version of this Mark III model, you had to stretch to a pricey trim level or spend a bit on options to get the full effect of all of this. But now, virtually whatever kind of C3 you decide on, it'll stand out in the street. Perhaps most notably, you still get the biggest talking point, the side air bumps, which can be had with red, emerald or white colored inserts and which you can do without if you don't like them. Time to take a seat inside. The design of this interior is anything but dull. Uh, these designer luggage themed overstitched door pulls, for example, the retro style instrument dial graphics, the intricately fashioned chrome trimmed vents, the door bins with their unusual contrast colored interiors. Uh, there's even a reverse air bump theme happening on the doors and the speaker grills. It all attempts to continue the cheery demeanor that was established before you got in. Changes to this revised model include a glossier finish for the central 7-inch infotainment screen, now standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. It also gains a little lower ledge here to rest your finger on. And on this top spec model, you also get these cosseting advanced comfort seats, which are fitted out with lumbar support and an armrest. And they're also created using thickened fabric and special foam that can be up to 15 millimeters thick. Time to take a seat in the rear. Once you're inside, it's quickly evident that this isn't one of the more spacious super minis in the segment. Now Citroen thinks that uh, rear leg space here puts this C3 among the class leaders. We wouldn't agree. The room on offer will be fine for kids, of course, but adults stuck behind reasonably tall compatriots up front may well struggle a little when it comes to a room for their legs and knees. 
but then how often is it really necessary to transport burly adults for any real distance in a super mini? Almost never. For the role that this car will be typically asked to play in an average family, what's provided here will, for most buyers, be probably quite sufficient. Last but not least, let's take a look in the boot. Uh, lift the tailgate, and after the relative restrictions of the rear seat, it's something of a surprise to find that the 300 litre space provided here is one of the larger cargo bays in the Super Mini segment. All of which leaves us, well, where? From an objective point of view, this C3 isn't the best car in the class. Subjectively though, you could easily argue that there's nothing in this segment to touch it. It all depends on how you view the automotive world. We think that this C3 makes it a brighter place.